Welcome back on board the MSC Seashore, day number four, and we find ourselves... In our second port. Do we dare do the same joke twice? We do. What's behind curtain number two? It's a Cayman, and it's grand. Yes, Grand Cayman is where we find ourselves. We are getting off the ship today. We are heading over to do some snorkeling. Free snorkeling at that. That's right. So let's go ahead and get it started. Day number four on board the MSC Seashore and here in Grand Cayman. Begins right, 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 right? Yeah. It's gonna be grand. Now, of course, Grand Cayman is a tender port, so we will have to take a small tender boat over. And then once we do, we will walk along the sidewalk over to that building, which is a dive center and dive shop area. And there's actually some stairs and a ladder you can go down to get into the water. And there's a reef right over in that area. So that's where we're headed. Now, because Grand Cayman is a tender port, we're seeing MSC do something very similar to what we've seen on Royal, at least post COVID, where you have to go get a tender ticket at a particular location, in this case, the casino bar. <laughs> and then you wait for your ticket number to be called before you head out to the gangway um, and then get on the tender boat to head over. And the reason why they're doing that is so the gangway and the line to get on to the tender boat doesn't get like super slammed and crowded. Um, but once it's past like the initial arrival time, they don't ask for tickets anymore. They say you can just go straight to the gangway. So for example, our arrival time and when they were giving out the tickets was 8 a.m. and it's now 10 a.m. And they just made an announcement like, okay, everybody can just head to the gangway. Like you don't need a ticket anymore. So if you wait like an hour or two, you don't need to do the whole ticket situation. But if you want to get off right when the um the gangway opens you will have to do that also something that i like that msc does is they put beach towels like in your room like ready to go day one for you to use and it just explains that like if you lose them or take them on the last day then you'll be charged twenty dollars but they'll like put fresh ones in your room and stuff if they're used and everything so that's nice it's it's cool that we don't have to now go to the pool deck and grab towels before we get off the ship one quick observation i have to point out here about msc one thing i'm not too thrilled with is that I mean, you've not really seen too much of it on camera here, but the carpets in the hallways and on the stairs are always really dirty. You never see them vacuuming. There's like someone's hair tie right there. There's a chocolate bar wrapper there. It's just kind of dirty. I mean, it's not like it's filthy or, you know, obscene or anything, but there's just like crumbs and dirt and stuff. There you go. You can see some of it there, some of the specks all on the carpet on the stairs and hallways. Would like to see the public areas cleaned a little bit more. Stopped in the Marketplace Buffet to refill our water bottle before we head down and check out who's parked next to us. Got the Norwegian Sky on one side, the Disney Fantasy on the other. And we just might be back on the Fantasy very, very soon. Hmm. Stay tuned. This might be an incredible day, you might say. What? I didn't say. And maybe even more important to know. So people always ask us about accessibility for tender boats. Here you go. It's just like a little ramp. A ramp that goes right across, nice and smooth, onto the tender boat. Take a seat on a bench. Now, as Chelsea mentioned earlier, we no longer needed tender tickets because they just allow for general boarding now. But if you're curious, this is what it would look like if you did get a ticket. is really easy it only took like maybe three minutes three minute tender ride so really quick and really fun and here's a quick 
look at the map of Georgetown area here. So got the uh, where we came in there on the tender boat. I believe that's uh, that's where we're at right now. And we're gonna walk on down this way, find our snorkel spot. All right, we've exited the gate of the main landing area, and now we're making our way through town, walking not that fast because we want to go snorkeling. Do -do 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 -do. And they do have a couple of different terminals. Like this is the north terminal. We were further down, so I guess maybe further south, um, but <laughs> or at least some other direction. But they have different ones, so just be prepared. You might get dropped off somewhere a little bit different. And as we walk along the boulevard, you actually look over into the water, and it's probably difficult to tell on camera, but all those spots that look black, those are fish. There's dozens and dozens of fish swimming there. And even on this overcast day, you can see them because the waters here are super clear. One of our clients and viewers asked to show the closest bus stop because they have a public bus system here. That's actually really good. They're really nice there. Um, so there's the Carib Empress at the North Terminal. That's not where we got dropped off. That's the one I showed a minute ago. And I haven't noticed any. There may have been some, but they did have a placard right here, Georgetown Shuttle Stop, just down the sidewalk from the North Terminal. So there's at least one there. Wait a second, Blue Iguana? Carnival Cruise Line? Big Chicken? And here we are, the Eden Rock Diving Center. There's also Silverside Restaurant Rum Bar here as well. Last time we were here in 2019 on Independence of the Seas, they told us we could come down here and head out. They got some ladders and steps to get down in the water. They said you could do it for free. I'm gonna double check with them here and then head in. So this place is awesome. The people here are so very friendly. They said it's free to use. You can go out. Um, they'll, they will take, you know, if you wanna make a donation, whatever you'd like to give. And they do have lockers that you can rent right there for $5 US. So really nice to have that option. Now, as we turn around here you'll see we have the two ladders we're good to use either one out of the mooring ball there is kind of where the like kind of where the reef starts now if you go to the left here you have devil's grotto if you go to the right you have eden rock but all the way is reef it's pretty much all connected and you can see the two different areas out there with the two mooring balls that's kind of where the reefs start and kind of are connected out there and the only rule is there are some red upright buoys that's you don't go past those because that's where the boat traffic is but other than that you're good to go they said you see all kinds of stuff out here you can see octopus stingrays of course fish nurse sharks they said earlier they saw some baby turtles so we'll see we'll see what we get into I'm very excited and here's their drone footage or picture of the dive map that they have here so we're coming out here you have Eden Rock right here and then Devil's Grotto on it's the like other little, side um, man look at the size of these lockers that's like proper I mean you could fit like three huge backpacks in it so very very much worth the five dollars I'm so glad that they have it and you do keep your key with you while you're snorkeling and they said like just like try to attach it to something so you don't lose it. All right, we're gonna head out now, switch over to the GoPro. Let's see what we can find. All right, I'm in and I have to show you all the stuff that you can see right here. You see Chelsea's coming down the ladder right now. There is a ton of stuff right when you get in. So if you're nervous about swimming out in open water, fret not, you can see a ton of stuff here. Let's check it out. said that if you come to this ladder here on the right looking at shore left if you're looking at the water there's a trench right out in front of it and she said if you follow the trench you'll see this thing that looks like a trumpet and there's usually an octopus in it so I'm gonna go try to find that now <laughs>
crazy how close you can get to the cruise ships out here. <laughs> and I'm not even as far as you could go. That is pretty awesome. your own snorkel or scuba equipment, you can visit the dive shop. They have some equipment for purchase inside, but they also have some equipment to rent as well. So for the day, you can rent masks, snorkel, and fins for $15. You can add a life vest for $21, or you can rent scuba equipment for $55, and that's per day. Another nice thing too is that they do have a rinse where you can rinse off your equipment and um, a fresh water shower in case you want to <laughs> rinse off yourself, get all that salt off of you. Looks like we got back on land just in time because Caribbean rain has shown themselves. So we're just gonna wait for the rain to clear and then we're gonna head back to the tender boat. It's still raining, but we're gonna head back because <laughs> we have to. Last tender boat is leaving in 45 minutes. Sing it in the rain. Sing in Grand Cayman rain. <laughs> there is a really long line for the tender boats. Get it all packed in here under these canopy tents. Well, the Dauntless is the power in these waters, true enough. But there's no ship can match the Interceptor for speed. Load him up, load him on the boat, 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 boat. Specifically, my awesome snorkeling spot at Eden Rock Dive Center. What do you do after after an exerted day of snorkeling? Well, when it's a Tuesday like today, you eat pizza. God, no. No, no, no. Of course, it's Taco Tuesday. So just off the main atrium area here on deck eight port side, we will find Ola tacos and cantini. You see they have a lot of tables here. It's kind of high tops right out here on the thoroughfare and some other tables back inside the actual restaurant area. There's also a bar over here on this side. You can sit at and get some drinks or food at it as well. It's cool because the restaurant is right here on the like promenade walk around area. Also right next to the infinity bridge area here. So you can see right down to the water, water moving there. And then you can even look over the glass here 
down into the uh, lower deck here. Now the interesting thing is when you pull up the MSC for Me app and you go to any of the other specialty restaurants, it'll give you the option to make a reservation, but not for this one. So we thought no reservations were required. However, when we walked up, they asked us if we did have a reservation and we told them no. And now we're waiting. They said they're checking on availability, even though there's like only two tables that are taken right now, no joke. So not really sure what that's about, but all the same, we'll get to eat here and enjoy it. I do want to take this moment and talk about what probably my least favorite thing with MSC is, which is disorganization. They are just not organized in any sense of the word. As you can see here, as I mentioned, there's only like two of the tables in the entire restaurant that are taken right now. And yet, you see all the servers just standing around here, and yet we're being told to wait for a hostess to come over and see if they can accommodate us. It just doesn't make any sense. I really don't understand what's going on here. We were able to get a table after some deliberation. They told us they were fully booked until like 8 o'clock, and when I asked if this was indeed the restaurant with all the open tables, they said, oh, it is, but they're just booked right now, so. I, I thought this restaurant didn't take reservations, but I guess they do. When we kind of asked about what was going on, they said, well, we do have these two high-top tables at either end, but our regular tables are booked. And we're like, we don't care if it's a high-top table. In this, fact, it's a great table. This is great, because look at our view. I mean, we're up high and looking right out at the ocean where I just showed you a minute ago. And here's a look at the menu. They do have things priced a la carte, or you can do the all you can eat for $17.99 per person. So some guacamole made to order there. And then they do have chips and salsa, and you can see the different flavors of the different heat levels there. All kinds of good stuff available here. chips with about every kind of salsa they have. What did you get here? Um, these are the tostadas. Okay. And, um, then, and then this is a chicken like street taco. And you have a beef one coming? I have a carnitas, carnitas one, coming. one coming. Yeah. And then I got a quesadilla without the guac or pico. And I also got the tortilla soup with chicken. And then I have nachos coming as well. <laughs> we got like everything and we're probably gonna get more. Now the thing I wanna mention is Look at this little scale. Apparently this scale is not right. They told us this one, the Roja. Robo de Arbol. Apparently that is the hottest one. And that is this one. So do you want to see me cry and try it? All right, here you go. This is the hot of the hot. And I like hot of hot. Let's see if I can handle it. Yeah, that is significantly hot. <laughs> it's not great. It's not... Obviously, I'm not freaking out, but there's no way I would eat that whole jar of it. Right. That, that definitely has a lot of spice. It's good. It's flavorful. It's delicious. A little dab will do you. A little dab will do you. <laughs> good call. And then Chelsea's dad also got a tamale here. And now you got these other two taco things. Okay, I think I lied. These are the street tacos. This is chicken. Pancho tinga. Uh, yeah, and this is the carnitas. This must have been, you know what? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's something in the cantina realm. Everything though. looks and smells good. It does. Oh yes. Look at my chicken nachos. Out high and melted hot. And just in case you were wondering about the difference in size for these small nachos and the large nachos, there's my hand. So it's, you know, kind of, kind of a decent size. That's the large. <laughs> and there's my hand. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. That's nice. And now it's dessert time. We went with two of the four desserts. We got Dulce de Leche and Trace Leches as well. <laughs> Thank you.
do ba da ba zi ba do skib it ba ba boo Hey, look down, and it's a deck in water! It's kind of hard to get out over the actual water. You have to get to, like, the middle. And yeah. And go to, like, the very edge. Very edge. And, and now you're a, you're a little, you're toe, you're just a, just a, a little <laughs> Michael Jackson, right over the Ooh. water there. There you go. <laughs> this bridge is cool because this is, we see this from our room. Yeah, up our there. rooms up there somewhere. In fact, oh, I'm getting kind of tired. I think we should head up and go to bed. Ah. Alrighty, friends. That is going to do it for day number four on board the MSC Seashore and, of course, at Grand Cayman as well. What a lovely time that was. And dinner, by the way, outstanding. I, I enjoyed every single thing that touched my taste buds it's on true. my tongue. And we tried most most items and they were all really, really good. Would definitely recommend checking out Ola. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back here, of course, on the MSCC shore and we will be stopping in Cozumel, though I do not believe we'll be getting off the ship tomorrow. Gotta film that ship tour at some point. Ship tour day. So it looks like we'll be doing that and then we'll get into some fun uh, tomorrow night. So we'll see what happens back then. So we hope we'll see you there as well. If you're interested in booking your own cruise, feel free to reach out via the travel agent information in the description of this video. It's completely free to you. All that stuff. You know how it goes. <laughs> so we'll sign off for tonight. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number five, on board the MSC Seashore <laughs> and stopping in Cosmo, but not really for us. Until then, we'll sign off. See you next time. Happy, Happy travel! travel.